Greetings, citizens. Just a guy has arrived, and we are back with more Dream Daddy. I admit it has been uh, quite a while since I've played this. I I don't remember what happened. I really don't, and I apologize if anyone was uh, getting into this. Uh, I, I was too, to be honest. Uh, that tip number fifty-six. Go ask your mother. Anyway, let's 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 continue. Let's continue. Uh, wow, this, this is. That's right. We were just in box. God, yeah. You, you can see. You can see it's been a while. Um, okay. That's right. We're on a date with the Hugo. Was it, is that what it said? I already forgot. Jesus Christ. That is a while back. I do not remember what happened. Holy shit. I think maybe I... Had I beaten that last yet by then? I don't remember. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We're back with some Dream Dead. Drinking too much water can cause water intoxication, kids. Be careful. Also, the cup. Gee, oh god, I don't remember any of the voices I had going here either. Um, but I'm I'm Justin anyway. <clears throat> Jesus, Susan, what was your plan? That's not good. I was trying to free him. Oh, that's right. This this girl was trying to steal uh, one of the animals. I remember that. To where? To where outside? To where outside? Where, where, where was he gonna die? Where he was gonna die? Oh wow, that that, that changes that significantly. Hmm. Susan, go back to your group. We'll discuss this later. Yeah, and hands where we can see him. Susan, so soft. Leaving me alone with Hugo. He gives me a pat on the shoulder. Hmm? Middle schoolers have sticky hands. I know that's the first time that's happened to you. Or the last. Well, I don't know what else been there. In the next room, we see a variety of smaller tanks. Sea urchins. Tiny fish. Big fish. Little fish. Crazy fish. Murderous fish. And a rainbow of beautiful underwater plant life. And it all surrounds us. Yes. Yes! I fucking love that fish. Oh my god, let me tell you about that fish. Oh my god, yes! Look over there. You go points. So some seahorses gathered at the bottom of a tank. I think you made two there, guys. One of them is in the middle of giving birth. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's actually the male. Oh, sorry, it's you go. That's actually the male seahorse. Sort of takes fatherhood to a new level, doesn't it? Hey kids, come check this out. There's a male seahorse giving birth. No murmur from the students. They just jump back on their phones. Hmm. Fun fact. Male seahorses can even give birth and then get pregnant in the same day. Man, we thought we had it hard. Ah. I wonder if they have to deal with their kids' awkward teenage years too. All out of the many thousand of them. You seem to know a lot about marine life, Hugo. Oh. It's not really my specialty, but I do make it a point to learn as much as possible whenever I can. I think that learning shouldn't end when you leave school. We should challenge ourselves to find out more about the things we don't understand every day of our lives. Because if you stop learning, I think you'll never be able to grow or change as a person. Good point! But I still don't trust the ocean. We'll get there. In my convertible, perhaps? We finally make our way over to my favorite part of the tour. The Arctic exhibit. Penguins? Aha! Justin, my man! Did we already know he liked penguins? Now I don't remember. Whatever. Do we get to see the penguins? Hmm. Yes, we do get to see the penguins. <sighs> Am I recording? Yes, good, good, good. Hell yes! Our group of kids run around the exhibits. They won't stop tapping on the glass of the puffin enclosure. Right, to get their attraction. Attention! For a few moments, teachers, chaperones, and students alike seem to be having a great time. What was I so worried about? This isn't too bad. I'm sensing some penguin bias here, writers. Are you saying the rest of the aquarium is not enjoyable? 
Oh, we, need, we need to get the picture of uh, the Kimomo friends thing in here, you know? Rest in peace, Grape Good. Sweet Manchego! <laughs> what the hell is this guy? This is dude's after this guy. Well, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But it's a dude after my own heart here. You go, Sunday grabs my heart. Oh my. Oh shit, never mind. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's a student in the penguin enclosure. We're just getting it very bad. Is it one of ours? I don't know. It most certainly is. Molly Henderson. Susan's friend. I look over to the penguins and see a disturbed and determined looking kid crouching behind a rock. Crouching behind a rock. She's hiding just out of sight of one of the employees. Over on the side of the enclosure, I see a door to the exhibitor exhibit jar. Was that unlocked this whole time? We gotta stop her before the sad staff sees and bands are in school for life! Hugo looks around. <sighs> I'll create a distraction. Hugo runs towards the pup. Oops. Hugo runs toward the puppet and exhibit and it to level up. I'm sorry. Hugo runs towards the puppet and exhibit and addresses the entire room. I don't know. Everybody? Everybody. Everybody. I have an announcement. The whole room turns towards Hugo. <sighs> um. Um, have you heard about male sea horses? Ah, here's a few facts I bet you didn't know about penguins. Everybody just stares, you go confused. Well, this is my shot. I run into the enclosure and I'm greeted by a cold blast of air. <laughs> oh no! Psst, hey, psst, get, come here. I got ice cream. The girl looks around. The weirdo whips around to look at me. Her nose is pink from the cold. You can't be in here. Neither can you! Oh, what the hell was that, Majin Buu? I try to walk over to the girl, but the ground is so icy that I end up slipping. I catch myself before I hit the ground, but the girl still laughs at me. <laughs> eh. Contrary to popular belief, penguins are birds. Did you know that? Birds are traditionally known to fly. But, although you may doubt this, looking at the creatures behind me, penguins cannot fly. So, I can understand some confusion when we're talking about, or rather, discussing the birdness of penguins. The crowd is still somehow enraptured. Really? Kid, what are you even doing? Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Where did you do freedom? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? They're gonna live. Oh my god. They're gonna live in my closet. Look, I just don't even have time to argue about this. We gotta get out of here. Not until I save a penguin. Get one in the gift shop, kid. Little known fact is that penguins only live not, not true. Uh, with some exceptions, so they don't all live in cold climates, if you're splitting hairs here. Yeah, buddy! Did I mention that they don't fly? I think we should talk about how they don't fly, because little did you know this, but they actually are birds, despite the fact that, that uh... Well, well oh, no, 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 hold on, I, I... Hey, hey, hurry up, hurry up in there. Looks like I'm running out of time. Hmm... Mmm, oh, we have, a we have a choice to make, citizens, do we? Do we lay down the law? If we try to relate to her interests, as... Yeah, that'll go well, given, given this game. Uh, if... mm. We gotta lay down the law. I prepare to raise my voice at my line and hesitate. Is it... Uh, I, I think... Really, dude? Money. Really? I will give you $20 right now if you leave with me. Molly thinks for a second. Okay, well, just give it to me right now. Are, are you, are you, are, are Justin, are, are, you can't be this dumb. Okay, well, I have $12 and some change. Also, there's a button here. Is that enough? Maybe the other right later and we have a deal. We move to shake our arrangement before I suddenly realize there's a wave of penguins on their way out of the- Oh, you idiot. I can't believe you just did this. Justin, come on. Block that are, are you serious? Oh, hell. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I slap the kid? No, fine. Not that I would! Hooray, we're, we're doing it! Why are you- Guys, I think- I think there's something wrong with your penguins here. 
Also, is, how is- Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dear. There could be problems, citizens. Stop the penguins from escaping. How do they- how, how, if, this, if, that, if this is a freaking thing. Okay, no one's noticing that. Good. Drive that team. Really? Really? <laughs> Bro, I what, what would happen if I didn't? What? what? Uh, okay, good. Good. Better be S. Bribery works! Damn right. Try not to make this. How about you just don't? Gas is cheaper in the suburbs. Well, that's interesting. Well, glad that's over. Just in time, too. Why did my voice do that? Because it looks like Hugo is wrapping up his diversionary penguin speech. Hey! And that's why I think that penguins with a capital P are one of the best animals in the world. A few people in the audience clap out of a sense of duty. Everyone starts dispersing. Hugo spots us across the way and runs over. <sighs> Molly, what were you doing in there? Exclamation point, no question mark. I was liberating animals, Mr. Vega. You realize that penguins can only survive in arctic temperatures, right? You would have had a dead penguin on your hands. Well, um... It was a thought that counts. No, Molly, it wasn't. Because the thought you were having was the thought of murder, and that is not a thought that counts to anyone. Molly turns to me. You owe me eight dollars. Sweet Manchego. <laughs> what? Just... I'll pay you later, kid. Molly runs off towards Susan. I suppose that they can compare animal thief notes. What devious daughters. Oh. You're not off the hook, Molly. Hmm? Justin, did you bribe a child? You can't play by the rules when there's penguin on the lives. Listen, man, we've all done dark things in our lives. I'm not the young, bright-eyed youth I used to be. Person be that person believes in a world where you wouldn't have to bribe children to save a penguin. The me today knows different. I only wish I could ah. go back. Let's just get through the day and get out of here. Huh, I thought he would have liked that. I guess not. With the day finally coming to a close, the whole field trip is ushered through the gift shop, and we make our way back out to the school buses. As we leave the aquarium and the kid lo kids load onto the buses, Hugo pulls me aside. Hey! Hey, Justin. Thank you so much for helping out today. You, my friend, are a lifesaver. It was no problem. It was actually kind of fun. Hey. Let me take you out next time to make it up to you. You like cheese boards? What the fuck is a cheese board? Jesus Christ. Um. What the hell is he talking about? Is he talking about a freaking cutting board? I don't understand. What the hell is this? What the hell is he talking about? I don't, I don't understand. I mean, all these answers, I guess, are the same, but I don't understand. What did, what, what are they? I don't understand. I thought we were talking about food. Is there? There's not a log either, is there? Um. I'm all about them. Uh, okay, that happened. It appears to be boards of cheese, I guess. Like, like a. Oh boy. I gotta make sure the kids don't steal anything else. See you around. I walk inside to find the house empty. Hmm, I wonder where Panda's at. Did someone liberate my animal? Hmm. Before I know it, Amanda pops in through the front door. <laughs> Whatcha up to tonight? Whatcha up to tonight? That was weird. Just doing some homework. How was. That was not the voice I was using. Just doing some homework. 
How is the aquarium? It was an adventure. Some kid decided blah, blah, blah. It was an adventure. Some kid tried to steal a penguin. Ugh. We've all been there. I had to run in and grab her before any of the employees saw. Hey. You got into you got to go into the penguin enclosure? Did you steal a penguin for us? Amanda, no penguins were stolen thanks to the valiant efforts of myself and Mr. Vega. It was nice getting to spend some time with Hugo, though. Eh? I'm sure he helped complete a covert op. He's usually... I'm, I'm surprised he helped complete a covert op. He's usually kind of a... Kind of a what? Ah. Kind of a stick in the mud. He's actually pretty cool. I had a good time with him. All right, too much of adventure for me today. I'm gonna go rest my eyes. Yeah. You mean take a nap? There's a difference. You'll learn when you become a father. Gas is cheaper in the suburbs. Date, please. Relax, Dad. Woodworking must. Oh, that's not the right over there. Does this mean anything? That was phenomenal. That was. Touch tank chaper. Hmm. I don't know. Ooh, Welcome. an achievement. You got dads. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, okay, I think we we did Craig once. Let's write a massage me message. Actually. Hmm. Can I just? Okay, I can do that. It's a bit easier. I'm not used to be so good. Have I peaked? I didn't. I, I remember Craig. So you know, obviously we got Hugo here. Um, uh, you were the vampire. The vampire, the blood, and is is I. Oh, uh, uh, taxidermy. Uh, you're out. You're out. Um, you're married. You're out. You are the married one, right? You got the wife and the, the weird, creepy kids. Don't remember except for the bar. You have the. We had the Pokemon battle. Um, I can go for brisket. Fireman. Deck building. Oh, he doesn't mean that kind of deck, I don't think. I don't think he does, but, um... Yeah, he doesn't. He does does not. Okay. Let's, let's, um... Let's see here. You know what, citizens? We'll decide who will hit up next time on Dream Daddy. A dad a dating simulator. But it, it's probably gonna be corner Craig or Hugo. Regardless... Until then, I'm afraid that this is... Farewell!